What's going on, YouTubers? Heart Collector and Ethan Monster here. Hi! Little man, tell them what we're going to do today. Today we're going to open up the Bakugan Battle Planet B Bob. <laughs> <laughs> Take one. Tell them what we're going to open today. Today we're going to open up the Bakugan Battle Planet Bakugan Battle Arena to, and experience the Bakugan Battle Action. <laughs> Da, 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 we're gonna open up the one and only. How did you memorize that? Bakugan Battle Planet, Bakugan Battle Arena for your battle brawl in action. Say that ten times fast. Da, da, da. We're here inside Psycho Turtle. We just got done shopping from Carl's Collectibles. Wait until you guys see everything that Carl has set up. It's gonna be a special Friday, uh, Friday free day video. You guys will see that coming soon. Carl has like everything Bakugan now, huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, you guys are going to be super excited. We are super excited to open this up. What better way? You have to have the arena like here so you can do all your videos, right? Mm -hmm. This box is big. It retails. Do you remember how much it retails? No. $24.99. I actually thought it was going to be about around $40. That was just my guess. I was thinking maybe 40 bucks for 25 bucks. I'm going to tell you right now already. I think that's a super good deal for an arena because just a play mat will cost you like 20 and your opponent will be about 20. So that's about 40 bucks. This is for both people to play for only $25. That's already that's a good deal. So on this box, what do we have? Who's that, Ethan? Dan Cuzo. Dan Cuzo. It looks like he's got two balls in his hand ready to throw and he just threw one. And who is it? Aquos Dragonoid includes an exclusive Aquos Dragonoid. Is that for real? That's the only way to get them? I think so. Is it? It says exclusive. So I guess the only way, if you're going to go out and collect all the different uh, Bakugan battle balls, you're going to need to get this box in, obviously, to get that one. The artwork on here, you can see two people have already been battling. It looks like they just threw a Mantanoid and Nilius. Mmm, uh, he didn't he, open up on a core though. He didn't open Wait, up. Oh yeah, he did. He did Oh, he did. It. And then someone threw another one. <laughs> How many people are playing? <laughs> Dan, are you cheating? He's cheating. Take your game to the next level by cheating like Dan Kuzo. And on the on the side, we have experienced the battle brawl in action. Plonge à ce fiel de l'action. I don't get it. Why did, it's not in Spanish. What makes him choose like whether it's going to be in French, Italian, uh, Russian, German? Yeah. Not, you know what I mean? I'm curious about that one. Battle. Oh, here we go. Battle Brawl in action. It says the same thing right here. It has some details about the app. I highly suggest you go download the app. It plays similar to the actual game. Not exactly. It plays a little similar, but it's still fun. It's a way for you to get to know all the characters, see all the balls and all the different, um, I guess you say monsters? Bakugan. Bakugan. Yeah, Bakugan. I guess that's the one way to say it. And it's fun. It's super fun. It's easy to learn. And then on the back here, it shows you exactly what you get. So it shows no one cheating. doesn't show anybody battling. It shows you exactly what we're going to get out of the box. You're going to get two cards. I'm assuming one will be the... Um, ability. A, well, one will be an ability and one will be the actual character card for this Aquos Dragonoid. Right here. Joint does it. It says right here, one Bakugan Battle Arena, which is this thing right here. And this is... What is this? It's not a pentagram. What is it? Octagon? Six sides. Wait, six sides. Why do I forget my shapes? Guys, leave the comment down below. What shape is that? It's not. Wait, octagon is eight sides. Pentagram is five. Hexagon? Hey, oh, man. I think you're right. <laughs> I think you're right. <laughs> leave a comment down below anyways. Let, let Ethan know if he's right. I think you're right. It is, right? It's in the shape of the hex. You have to be absolutely right. I'm so wrong. Two back Baku cores, one ability card. So there's your... Two Baku cores and then one exclusive Baku gun here and one character card. Yeah, so it's a character card and an ability card. And then here you can see all the different, I guess you want to say elements. Mm -hmm. Can you name them all now, Monster? Mm -hmm. Let's see how good you are. This is Ventus. Mm -hmm. This one's Hales. This one's um, Aquos. This one's Py Pyrus. This one's Darkest. And this one's Lurus. Mmm, pretty nice. And I guess you could lay it any way you want when you actually play. But I'm assuming the best way you'd want to is with the Bakugan logo facing you. And then here it shows you how the balls pop open. Um, I'm surprised it shows this like on every package. It kind of just shows you that the ball will open up into a monster. And then this is how the Ultras, the Ultras can actually leap and do spins and flips and all kinds of weird tricks. 
If you uh, notice the difference between the regular ball and that ball, that's what's the difference, the main difference. And then here he has a, a shows details for the other stuff that are out. Baku storage and starter pack. We actually have the storage. Da -da -da. We have our own storage right there. And then stay tuned for the next video because we have a whole boo 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 booster box. You ready for that? Ethan wants to open that one already, but so let's get the arena opened up first, and then we can lay the cards on the arena. He is super excited about the cards. I am too, don't get me wrong. And then I guess that's it. It shows Bogdan Battle Arena. And then, ooh, on the side, who do we got? We got Dan. We got Leah. And, and Winston. Winton. 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 Oh, and then on the top side, nothing. And on the side, it's basically the same stuff all the way around. It tells you to uh, has battle brawl in action. You ready to crack this open? Yeah. Alright, let's get this bad boy cracked open all out of the box. Alright, let's go ahead and slide this bad boy out of the box. This is exactly how it comes. We just lift up the side tabs and this is how it comes. You ready? Oh, whoa! It's all packaged in there pretty nice and tidy. What do we have here? Maybe instructions on how to put it together? It's all taped. Let's see. First off, we have... A little baggie and it comes with there's the two cards there's your cores it looks like game rules yeah I'm gonna say those are the rules and then this is how you put it together let's see how easy this thing is you think we'll be able to figure out without reading instructions yeah should we go over the bag um, I guess so. let's see oh you want to show off the cards monster uh -huh. here since you since that's what you love about this other huh, cards mm -hmm. There you go. Go ahead and show off the cards. Who do we have? So we have Aqua's Dragonoid card. Mm, so that's exclusive. We're going to have to get our sleeves. We brought some sleeves just for the Cajun too. And then we have... Oh, Eb. Eb. <laughs> What's an Eb? An Eb. It's an action card. So it gives you plus two attack and it's a flow. Remember, Aqua's is all about flow. If you played another card this turn, five instead. Wow. That's not bad. It's low, too. Aquos doesn't cost a lot to run, huh? Mm -hmm. Look at the art on that card. Eb, he's a Bakugan? I, I would assume so, right? Eb? Looks like a superhero. It looks like someone in a suit. <laughs> wow, I'm hoping he is a Bakugan. That'd be kind of cool to get an Eb one. So we got those two cards. You get those exclusive. Here's the Baku Cores. And the Baku Cores has the little punching fist and then the shield. And one does 300 B power, not bad, and plus one attack. So basic, I would say these are basic cores, huh? Mm -hmm. I've seen ones with a lot higher attack power, so this is cool for beginners, I guess, because once you start getting into the high Bs and all that, it gets kind of crazy. All right, well, if you're new, it gets pretty crazy. Here is, wow, this is, huh? Mm -hmm. I would say this is... It would be cool if there's a poster. I want a toy, little poster. Toy battling game. Oh, in the next arena that Bakugan makes, I'm hoping include a poster. That'd be super sweet. I want a poster. And then I could like plaster it up on the wall. This is just all the instructions. We should be doing, I'm going to say we will. No promises, but I want to say we will for sure. A how-to video. Uh -huh. Yeah, a how-to video. We're still not professionals or anything, so don't take our word for everything. But I want to do like a how-to video on how to play because it is super fun and you guys should at least try it. And then at least try it. See if you like it. Mm -hmm. I would say definitely if you're going to just try a game, this is the one to try because it is easy to learn. Right. And then this is the instructions. Yay, good old instructions. Now, nah, who needs the instructions? We don't need the instructions, mm -hmm. huh? Let's try to figure this out. <laughs> what do we have here? Some sticks. We got some sticks. sticks. It looks like how many sticks are in there? <laughs> Two, four, six. Two, six? Six sticks? All six right. Sticks. Oh, there we go. Oh, the ball. How do you take the ball off? Um, Just rip it? Rip it. Oh, no, no, no. This is so hard. <laughs> all right, guys, we're going to go ahead and take all this stuff out. We'll get it all set up. This is all wrapped, too, huh? Uh-huh. Oh, I feel like I'm going to mess it up. No, we're going to go ahead and scissor this and make sure that we take it off right. Oh, there's Ethan. Hi. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and get it all set up for you guys, and then we'll have the ball all ready for you to show off too. We'll be right back. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. We're going to see how easy this is. You think you can do it, Monster? Yeah. All right, go ahead and snap it together. Okay. So it comes with these little six-sided, well, six of these edgings. And so one side has a little peg here, and the other side has a hole right there. So it's fairly simple, right? One goes there, one goes there, just like that. So one clips on top of the other. 
just like that, and it holds pretty well. It feels like a boomerang. Throw it at Dan Quizzo. Ethan's already assembled one side, two side. Let's see, can I snap that one in? You see it? It goes right there. It's actually pretty big. I thought it was gonna be a little small. I remember seeing that we saw it, but seeing it here on these tables that we're used to, that's a different story. Well, I can do it one-handed. Let's see, snap on there. And Ethan's doing the last one. And then while he does that last one, here's the play mat. So let's go ahead and crack this open. And it just unfolds like that. It's sturdy enough. I wanna say it could be a little thicker, but it is sturdy. It feels like good quality too. You hear it? It's like a thick cardboard. I wouldn't spill any juice or anything on there though, so be careful with your drinks, because that might cause it to like blister or damage. So be careful with that. You got it? No. <laughs> you almost had it. You almost had it. <laughs> yeah, you broke it. Yeah, you almost had it. And then this just goes right over on top like that. That's fairly easy. And there you go. Right, there you go. And there you go. There it is. And here's the ball. So remember, guys, keep in mind, this arena, you do not have to have it to play. So you don't have to have it, but it does make the experience a lot better. Kind of like it creates the dome feeling from the show. So I would suggest to get one. It is pretty cool to have as well, just to display all your, if you want, you can use this as a display too. You can set all your cores. <gasps> you already opened them. <laughs> you can set all your cores here and they kind of have all your Bakugan on display right here in, within the dome. You ready to go over that one? Yeah. Let's go over this exclusive, Aquos Dragonoid. So I would assume everything is the same just as a regular Dragonoid. Just like the regular Pyrus, there's the magnet where we see that little serial number. As far as I know, it's been where every serial number is. That's where the magnet is, and that's where you have to activate him. And I think that's basically it. Where's his head? It's hiding in, is that his head? Yeah, this is his head. That's his head? Mm -hmm. You can pop it open. See? Oh, there he goes, peekaboo. <laughs> All right, you ready to pop him open? So let's get a core. No, you gotta do it the right way. If we're gonna pop him open, you gotta pop him over right. Pop him over right, pop him over right. Here, let's see, can I do it? First try. Bakugan, bro. <laughs> well, at least he spun. I didn't throw him hard enough. Oh, yeah, you gotta be careful with this little edge right here. He might get stuck along the edge. Actually, you can cheat that way. You can throw him straight down the line. Oh, I guess not. <laughs> so you can imagine you and your opponent sitting across from each other, and it's about the size it'll fit on a basic table. This red table right here is like a basic table right here. Oh, you almost had it. We just put two tables together to make it even longer. All right. <laughs> and there he goes. Ethan did it. Yay. <laughs> so there he is when he pops open on the Baku core. And there he goes. Wow. I'm going to try to figure out what would be my favorite version of Dragonoid. Uh, I want to say almost the darkest are cool. Darkest look cool. But it's just it hides all the detail. The house or house, however you want to say it. Hales might be cool because you can see a lot of detail. I like the, uh, the golden one. Blue looks cool. I don't know. Blue looks cool too. Leave your comments down below. Just what color or what element. If you know all the elements by heart, go ahead and name which element would you like to see this Dragonoid in. Which one would you want to have him in? He looks cool in any color. I like the detail on his face and then the way his horn is. Look at that. That is so, so cool. I like the design of these. His wings is actually part of the ball. His tail it looks just like a dragon. You would never know he's a ball <laughs> with big shoulders. That's it. <laughs> and itty bitty feet. But that's the ball right there. And then this one closes up. You would tuck his head in, tuck his tail in. Let's see. I don't know how to tuck him in. You know how to tuck him in? Let's see. Push do feet in. first, then hands. And then. And then you could do head, tail, and then arms. No, 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 I mean no. wings. First, do the wings tail, have to go? Tail's last. Tail's last. The tail's last? The tail's last. Oh, I did it wrong? Yeah. That, All right, let's see. It won't close when the t if the tail's right. Oh, okay. Let's see. So, the, these oh first, yeah. So, wait, no, 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 these first. These first, hands these first. Yeah, because it's gonna crumble. It. Yeah, oh yeah. It, let's see. You see. You show it, Ethan. Okay. So the legs go down, the arms go in, and then the um, and then the wings go in. Wait. And then the head, and then 
Wow, Ethan's a pro. You're a pro. <laughs> Ethan's better than me, obviously. I don't know. Let me, let me know in the comments down below. What do you guys think? Are you guys excited that it comes with an exclusive ball? And then the cards. I think, are the cards exclusive? That's a good question. Mm -hmm. Are they? Um, or are they part of the set? They don't say promo or anything, right? No, I don't think. So, no? They're common cards. Uh -huh. So they're part of the set. Number 283, number 7. So I guess they're part of the set. So I guess the cards aren't. But you're going to want the ball. Oh. oh, you did it. I saw that. That was no cheating in that one. But guys, this is super extremely worth it in my opinion. Because a ball automatically costs, what, $8 on its own? Eight bucks, and then the cards and the cores assume another dollar. So, so you're getting the arena for like around fifteen bucks. So I'm, that's definitely worth it. Because a basic play mat for any TCG is like twenty bucks, and it's just like a rubber mat. This you got plastic, you got cardboard going on, you got different snapping components, and it's pretty big. Uh, so it's as wide as a play mat, and it's double. I would say it's like almost double as wide. So this is pretty cool, and it's for two people. So you and your friend can go half and half and buy one. And then you can even keep the box as a cool little backdrop display. Bam, there you go. That is pretty cool. Ethan, would you recommend this? Yeah. 100%, huh? Yeah. I give it 110%. I give it a five Baku cores out of five. <laughs> a five out of five. Let me, let me know your comments down below, guys. And then stay tuned for tons and tons of more Bakugan stuff. We will be getting probably every single ball, every single card of the set. You know us. We're going to be collecting the entire thing. And then Carl's shop should hopefully be carrying everything. So it'll be easy for us to get. All right, guys. Until the next Bakugan Brawl video. Ethan, what do they got to do? Hey, subscribe, like, comment, get Bakugan. Get Bakugan. Go out and get the arena. All right, guys. We're excited. Let us know if you're excited about the game. We love each and every single one of you. We'll see you guys in another video. Bye, everyone. Bye.